Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined today by special guest Carmine Bianco, all the way from the freezing cold tundra, like it is in the studio. Uh, follow Carmine <laughs> on Twitter at Carmine Bianco WT and Brian Leonard. It's hanging out as always. Good to have Brian in the studio. Follow Brian at B Leonard Sports on Twitter. Guys, let's talk about a nice wild card matchup here that I already played. I played Seattle plus two and a half. It's now down to one and a half versus the Dallas Cowboys. Listen, this was kind of one of those New Year's Eve bets where I was like, you know what? I know this line's going to move. Don't think too long on it. Just bet it. If you need to get off of it later, you can. And the line, I woke up yesterday morning, and the line was minus one. And I was like, what? Okay, great. Maybe we'll see some comeback on the Cowboys. Not so sure. Your thoughts, Carmine? I'll start with you. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm kind of happy that you're on Seattle as well, too. So, um, you know, Dallas, you're 7 1 in the final eight, 7 1 at home. Um, you know, they're playing really well right now. Uh, Prescott's. What, nine and two. Um, he's gone nine and two when he doesn't throw a pick. Um, uh, he's, and he's thrown two his last three games, I think it is, if I have this right. But he's only sacked 56 times. It kind of worries me because Seattle's playing really well right now. Um, and nine of their 10 games, nine of their 10 wins this year were by a score, one score, seven or less. So they're always involved in tight games. And I don't know, Seattle's just playing really well right now. Um, uh, Russell's just look great like uh, in December they, they're just playing well these two teams sort of mirror themselves and I think I was going to talk about that a little later but um, I'm leaning towards Seattle here Brian so uh, I know Ralph's not in this video Ralph's a big trends guy trends and angles and one of the biggest angles in this game for me is how well Seattle's played in prime time historically plus now five and zero against the spread in their last five as an underdog so I'm looking at him here going you want to give me a couple points with this team versus another team with no home field advantage I'll take it. What are your thoughts on this game? Yeah, Seattle's been a popular team lately with the wise guys and money's been coming out of Seattle the whole time. Um, the one concern I would have is Seattle's really good in prime time. They're great at home. They're on the road. And then when you look at the home road dichotomies for both these teams this year, Dallas has been better at home, they have not been as good on the road. Year. Seattle better at home, not as good on the road. Uh, you talked about the teams being mirrors. They're basically two good defensive teams that try to run the ball. They don't throw the ball long. Uh, they're most, the only time Seattle throws the ball long is usually if it's a broken play, and Dallas never throws the ball long. Uh, they go for the mid-range. They go to the running backs a lot. But as soon as, as soon as they brought in the guy from Oakland, um, they've been able to throw the ball more to Elliott underneath. I happen to like the under in this game because be, both teams play a very similar ball. They're both going to try to run the football. Uh, they both defend the run pretty well. Um, and I don't see a lot of big plays coming from either one of these. The line's actually going up on the total. I saw it's up to I agree now. with you on the under. That is where I lean as well. But my concern is, is, and I hate to say what we've seen last, but the Seattle team has given up some points to teams named the 49ers and the Cardinals. So I am a little afraid of betting that under here. Plus, they have one of the worst turnover differentials in the NFL at plus 15. Your thoughts? Any concern that I should be if I'm taking this under with you? Not really. Uh, this this is a game that they're going to come full to. You know, week 16 to 17, it's a guessing game. Um, so lot. maybe they just didn't care as much. Yeah, well, yeah. obviously you're not. Especially week 17, you're playing Arizona. Um, you know, I bet Arizona in that game, but uh, there was no reason for Seattle to be prepared for there. They just wanted to make it to the playoffs. Once you get to the playoffs, you know, if you're not going to get the if you're going to get the bye, one thing, but. Other than that, people just they just want to make the playoffs. All right, Carmen, I'll yeah, have the final word. Week 17 overreactions are a big thing. Don't look at what happens in week 17 and think it's going to carry over into the playoffs. Look at Nick Foles last year, terrible in week 17 when they tried to get him some time. Um, lit it up. Um, I, you know, I know Prescott had a big week 17, but you know, like, like Brian said, you're going to see these teams trying to establish the run. They both have good run defenses. Seattle led the league, 160 yards rushing a game. Um, so. Uh, Russell Wilson out of the pocket, whether it's a broken player or not, he's got legs, he can run. So it's going to be an interesting game. So uh, I'm leaning to Seattle myself. So All right, perfect. Thanks, guys. Make sure you guys like and share all of our videos. Follow us on Twitter at WagerTalk and check out our YouTube channel at WagerTalk TV.